book haul where I can show you all the books I have. Um, I've been inspired by my friend Christina because she did this before on her channel. So I'll put her video in the link in the description. And in my opinion, I kind of think I have a lot of books, but I kind of don't. I probably feel that way because I haven't earned all of them. So to me, it's probably a lot. But I am very happy I'm doing this because I felt not productive at all yesterday or today. So let's get into this. Um, for starters, I got a movie that I've had over the years. Um, I'm using a book right now actually my diary or whatever journal whatever you guys call it okay so the first i have twilight it's um i'm actually almost done with the very first book i have the entire collection all the twilight books even the new one that came out midnight sun because even though it's different color and everything but that's okay because at least i have it i don't know <laughs> when i'm going to get into that stuff because i am a slow reader i just recently finished stranger things which is also what I'm going to be showing you. I recently finished that. And it took me probably an entire year. Because I like stopped reading it after a while. Then I got back into it. Because I'm just trying to read more. Be more protective. Because I have bad phone activity. I'm on my phone so much. It's just horrible. I'm probably going to start reading The Hunger Games. I have been reading Percy Jackson. But I'm reading that at school. So that's for like my school book. Like I'm reading that during school. And at home. I obviously need something to read. So um. I know it's kind of weird how I have to have like two things to read to different places, but it, I don't know, just so I have something to do. But yeah, this is my Twilight book. I've been reading that and it's taken me almost all here to read. Sorry, I get so out of breath when I'm talking. I doubt I could fit this book back into this, so I'll probably just leave it out. But yeah, this is my Twilight collection. I got that for Christmas one year from my mom and yeah this is the Twilight all well somewhat almost all my Twilight books. The Twilight book the Midnight Sun that came out recently and I heard it is about all of Edward's Edward's story about when he spoilers when he left Bella um in New Moon I think it was but he left Bella so um, that's gonna be a lot, and it's a big book, so I'm guessing it's gonna be a way a lot more than, it's like, almost like as big as Breaking Dawn. So that's gonna be a lot for me to read, somebody like me who doesn't read a lot, it's gonna be hard, but, um, I can get through it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully my face isn't cut off the entire time, but. I'm trying to get stuff out, I'm gonna have to, like, cut even takes, because I have a lot of stuff, so. Um, I'm gonna take out two books because they're like a collection together, kind of. Oh my gosh, I actually read both these books. Surprise, surprise, I actually read both of them. Um, both Maddie Ziegler books. I love Maddie Ziegler so much. She, I've been a fan of her since 2014. She's an inspiration to me. I love her and Mackenzie Ziegler. Um, yeah, they're both hardcover. Which I actually like better than soft, to be honest, because they rip easily. Which my Twilight book is kind of ripped a little bit already, but yeah. Um, I t 10 out of 10 recommend this one. I liked the diary like more about her life than I did this one, to be honest. I mean, it, they're both okay, but I like this one more if I had to recommend one of them. But yeah, I like. I just love Maddie, so. Um, I'll probably read this one again to be honest. I don't really remember much about her. Hopefully that doesn't happen again because I'm not trying to drop my phone anymore. Okay, but if you're a OG for Minecraft, if you like Minecraft, you'll understand why I have these books. I have all these books from Minecraft. Um, my school is selling them and for like this old book fair stuff, whatever. And I got them, so yeah. I think I've read a few of them. I don't know, but... I don't even think if I don't use them as tips at all either. Because I just figure out most of the Minecraft stuff myself. But there's that favorite book. And this book and movie has changed my life for everything. I wouldn't have met the two famous people at all if I never read this book. Or if I never seen a movie, I would never have done anything 
without them or figure out myself without them. It's called The Outsiders. I 10 out of 10, a thousand out of a thousand recommend. I love them so much. I love The Outsiders. I love the book. So, yeah. I might reread this. I say I will reread it, but I I don't see myself rereading it. I need to like, calm down. It's the caffeine. I had coffee today, okay? Okay. Here is the Stranger Things book. I've seen all the Stranger Things and all and read this book. I cannot talk. But yeah, this is, um, I relate to Max a lot with the personality and everything. Like, feeling left out. Feeling left out is such a struggle for teenagers nowadays. I've always felt left out a lot in a lot of things. And I've always been the kind of person for me to give love to people, but they don't return it to me. And I've recently, I'm trying to learn that sometimes I don't need certain people in my life and I just need to cut them out. Like, you know, like, if I give you love and you don't give me the same love in return, then I don't need you in my life. And you can go, like, shut the door behind them. Like, let the door hit you on the way out, basic kind of thing. And I hope that you guys learn from that statement. Maybe you're going through the same thing as me. I don't know, but hopefully that helped you with some information to help you know, or whatever. But yeah, basically this book is about her trying to fit in and her trying to feel loved by certain people and everything. And I just relate to that, but. I can recommend most of my books. I tell to recommend some I haven't, don't remember, but for the most part, I tell to recommend. Okay, this one's a big book. I haven't read all, so no spoilers. Please don't comment. I got this big hard, and it's not a hardcover, so I got this big book, Narnia book for my mom's friend. Um, they know how much I love Narnia. If you're a longtime friend or fan of mine or whatever, you can see how much I love Narnia. I grew up with it. My sibling actually introduced me to Narnia. So thanks to them, I'm in the fandom of it. And without my sibling, I would never have met Christina. Look right here. I would never have met her. Even though we don't talk a lot, I still love them. And I love you too, Christina. We really need to reunite <laughs> again. And, um, yeah, so that's most Narnia. But the only books I've read of Narnia, not out of this, but books like these that are, like, a lot for me to read, I just can't read them. Like, I have to read separate books, like, the Nizuka books. I have to read small books like that. I can't read big books like these where, like, all the books are in one setting. It's just hard for me to do that. For this Narnia book, I've only read Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, and half of Lloyd John Cutter. I've read half of Porson's Boy. I've also read half of this other one, but I, like I said, I have to, I have to, um, but yeah, I have to, um, I have to read some of this stuff, so, or finish some of it, so yeah. I feel like I've done a lot of talking. It's probably boring to you guys. I'm sorry. Percy Jackson. So my son is going to sell both these, but I'm like, what are you doing? You didn't even ask me if I wanted them. But yeah, and I'm happy I got them. This is Percy Jackson Lightning Thief, but with like a comic version. I don't really see myself reading, but I wanted to keep it just because I thought it was cool. And the Olympians, the ultimate guide. Like had all the pictures and everything and stuff like that in there and I thought it was pretty cool. I loved it. Um, there's that. Pretty sure I had more, but I don't know what happened to them. Okay, for childhood memories. <laughs> um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I loved reading Diary of a Kid as a kid. <laughs> Diary of a Kid as a kid, get it. Um, I loved reading that so much. Um, yeah, two soft covers, one hard, and this is what I mean by I like hard covers. See how it's like torn, torn right there, 
it's like just I don't like that it's like ripped up I've had this for years so that's why and I don't really think I cared about taking care of my book this other one I found I don't remember ever getting this one but I had it so Hunger Games I haven't read the Hunger Games I've only read little bits of it so obviously you can tell this book has been never used I'm surprised it doesn't have dust on it um I have no clue where I got it from, seriously. Because my teacher at school, she was like, have you read the Hunger Games series? I'm like, I would, but like, it's a lot for me to read. Like, I don't know. Because I got a library when I went, like the books look really big, so I don't know if they're like combined books or what, but this is not that big, so maybe I could read it. But um, I also wish I had the Maze Runner books, but I don't, but I read those somehow at school. I read them in like three or two months, all of them. And yeah, and they were like combined books too. Like the first, like the Maze Runner and the Scorch Trials are both combined books. And the third one was just a self book like this, but it was really good. But they're not like, the Scorch Trials was really nothing like the movie. It was completely different, but it was still good. So yeah, I recommend those and I guess this, even though I haven't read it yet. I've seen all the movies, so I hope these books that I've shown you um, will help you figure out what kind of books you might want to read sometime in life. And yeah, so those are all my books I have. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.